Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So the cold weather has hit us so it's pretty much time for cardigans and shrugs so I designed this pretty easy shrug. It has this very nice stitch detail, it's like a herringbone stitch. Uh, yeah it works out pretty fast and in this tutorial I make a size small to medium and for all other sizes you can check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. The yarn I used was Drops Air. This is a weight 4 yarn. I love this yarn. This is my first time using it and I think it's really soft. I would completely recommend it. But any weight 4 yarn will work. You will also need a 6.5mm hook and a 6mm hook. So I'm just going to do a small swatch and I changed yarns. I found the other yarn wasn't picking up on the camera as much. So we're going to make a very large rectangle and to do that we're going to start off with a chain of 116. Next we're going to work into the back bumps of every stitch. I find that by doing this it just gives a neater edge but feel free to work the normal way. So into the third chain from the hook make one half double crochet. Then we're going to half double crochet into the next chain. Now for the next stitch we're going to insert our hook into the bottom of the previous stitch. So just right there into that previous stitch. So we're going to insert our hook into that previous stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull your yarn through, you should have four loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all four loops. So this is your first herringbone stitch completed. So we're just going to repeat that. We're going to insert our hook into that previous stitch. So just right there, the bottom of that previous stitch. Pull your yarn through yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, pull your yarn through, you should have four loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all four loops. So you're going to go ahead and repeat that all the way across.
So here we are at the end of the row. Insert your hook into that previous stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook into that last chain, pull your yarn through, you should have four loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through all four. Now for row two, we're going to chain two. This chain two does not count as a stitch. So turn your work into that very first stitch, make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to insert your hook into that previous stitch. So just right there. Insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through all four loops. So you're going to repeat that again. We're going to insert our hook into that previous stitch. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, and then pull your yarn through all four loops. So you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 62 rows completed. So now you should have a total of 62 rows completed. So you're just going to fasten off and leave a long tail. This is just a close up of what the stitch looks like. I think it's really pretty. It's very, very nice. I love, I just love anything herringbone. And as you can see, it looks, it looks very like the, the knit herringbone stitch, I think. I love it. So next you're going to fold your rectangle over and you're going to seam from the bottom up. You're going to leave a five inch gap just right there. So just place up a stitch marker just to know where that five inches ends. So go ahead and use your yarn needle and some yarn and you're going to stitch up the sides just as far as the stitch marker. So next you're just going to lay your shrug out just like this and you're going to place two stitch markers at the bottom just where the sleeve area crosses. As you can see I have two stitch markers here so just where there's a crease there add a stitch marker just right there and then on the, the same on the other side. So go ahead and take out your stitch marker 
and then insert your hook into that stitch grab some yarn pull that yarn through and just secure it with a knot Then insert your hook, pull your yarn through, and then chain two. Don't forget this chain two does not count as a stitch. So into that same stitch, make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to continue with your herringbone stitch. So insert your hook into that previous stitch, pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull your yarn through, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way across until you reach your stitch marker. So once you've made your last stitch into that stitch marker, you're going to just remove it and then you're going to chain two and then turn your work. You're going to half double crochet into that first stitch. Half double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to do your herringbone stitch. So insert your hook into that previous stitch pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through all four loops. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. And you're going to continue in this pattern until you have a total of 13 rows completed. So once you have your 13 rows completed, we're not going to fasten off, we're going to continue on from where we are now. Now you might think that the bottom part is a bit narrow, but we're going to add a few rows of half double crochet, so don't worry about that. So continuing on from where you are now, we are going to half double crochet all the way around the other side. Once you reach the other side, chain one, back loop half double crochet all the way around that first side. And you're going to repeat that until you have a total of 20 rows completed. So next we're going to start our sleeves and we're going to switch to our six millimeter crochet hook and we're going to chain 29.
Then we're going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. And you're going to half double crochet into every stitch all the way across. So at the end of the row, we are going to chain one. This chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to half double crochet into the back loop. And then we're going to half double crochet into the back loop of every stitch all the way across. And you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 16 rows completed. Once you have your 16 rows completed, you're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. So once you have your 16 rows, you should just have one small square just like this. So next we are going to fold that in half. Just like so. And then with your long tail, we're just going to seam that shut. Once your sleeve is seamed closed, you're going to just seam this sleeve to the cardigan. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to make a second sleeve in the same way and then attach that sleeve to the cardigan as well. And that's it. All you've left to do now is just weave in all your ends and you're good to go. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.